Okay, so not to be the bearer of bad news, but Cap said they're probably going to deny your workman's comp claim because it's pretty obvious you weren't wearing your seatbelt. So, uh, but good news is HR sends their love. Come in, come in, come in. Come on in. Get some hands in here. Let's lift this. Uh, did you just say lift this truck? This, this thing weighs like 30 tons. I mean, I've seen your deadlifts. Those half reps ain't going to work here, Cap. <laughs> He's screaming because it's working! Hang on, Buck. It's just too heavy. We got anything on the truck we can use for leverage? Yeah, yeah, we do. It's called extrication equipment. We even have these things called airbags. You know, you push a button and it lifts things through magical air, you know? Best part is you don't have to blow your back out through your rectum trying to lift a 60,000 pound aerial. No, we need more people. A radio again. Dispatch. This is Did you just put that radio up to your ear like it's a telephone? How are you in charge? Because I can't. The can't get the thing broke and now it just keeps speeding up. I, I can't stop the car. How fast is he going? 105. Once he gets to Whitley Avenue, we'll hit the brakes. Hope he slows down a little. That's where we come in. Uh, let me get this straight. You're going to have this kid ram into the back of our fire truck doing 75 miles an hour. You ever think about just telling him to turn the car off? Pull the parking brake and hit that truck. What? Hit the truck! <laughs> Well, I hope you guys are happy. Now we're gonna have to switch into the old backup truck with no AC and the worst suspension on the planet. I can already feel my back hurting now. There'll be an investigation to determine what caused the car to malfunction. I'd call it a loose clutch. Well, I hope you're not the one leading up the investigation because that's a gear shifter, not a clutch. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Do you think he's screaming because it feels better? <laughs> 